what is going on YouTube welcome to your 27th After Effects tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to move the camera in After Effects now this is the last uh, camera tutorial I'm going to be going over probably or maybe I'm not got to keep you guessing and um, again like I said we're going to be able to animate the camera in this tutorial and it's going to be awesome trust me so the first thing I have is two layers um, here's my active camera or front where you see this one's in the back uh, one of me and behind that is one of my friend being a newscaster or something and uh, if you see both of them and this is from let's see what angle this is the right one this is the one of me and this is my friend in back of it so I just want to let you know they are on the same layer that this one is actually in front of this one right here so that's going to be useful when I'm showing you uh, uh, how to animate the camera so in order to animate the camera we need a camera so again layer new camera um, defaults look good again I don't think I have um, we won't enable depth of field because no need for this tutorial don't want to confuse you so if you go ahead down here and look at camera properties the transform properties uh, actually it's, might as well go ahead and open all of them you're gonna see two things we're going to be working with today point of interest actually we don't need that one and position now let me try to um, tell you guys in pretty much plain terms what this means if you are holding a camcorder in your hand the position is where you are holding it like how far away how close to the subject the point of interest is where you are pointing it so you can be holding it anywhere you want but if you weren't pointing it in the right place you wouldn't get your subject so the position in After Effects is this. Make sure you don't grab any of your axes. See, you can hold the camera anywhere you want, but the point of interest right here is this little anchor point. And as you can see, this is where you point the camera. So the position stays the same, but you're pointing it in different directions, therefore giving you a different clip. So in order to animate a camera, we first need to set the point of interest I mean you don't need to but it's what you usually do so let's go ahead and grab this little thing right here and we want to bring it behind our two subjects again this is our first layer right here this is our second layer so we want to be always aiming kind of through them if we aim up here or down here as you can see um, the camera doesn't get all of the subjects so we want to aim through it and behind it so let me minimize this and let's go ahead and now that we got our point of interest where we wanted it we can animate the position of the camera to give us some cool effects so as you can see now when we grab the position we can do under and over and it always gives us that appearance of kind of um well the appearance we we're going for I don't know what it's called it's probably not called anything but so let's go ahead and start animating this baby let's go ahead and click keyframes make sure these are on 3d and we will bring our first position probably um, somewhere down there to the bottom right there now let's go ahead and move this to two seconds and we probably want it somewhere um, up here and again if you know let me zoom up on this if you see this little X Z Y if you grab that then it's only limited to moving on the X axis and we don't want that what we want is to grab this camera freely so make sure when you select it none of your things are selected and then you can move it anywhere around you want like this and the easiest way to move it on let's see whatever way is back and forth just go to the top view and um, then you can move it back and forth so let me go ahead and move this to four seconds again click your little position box and you probably want it somewhere around there and then for the last one move it to six seconds and put this even through the camera right there so as you can see if we um took our point of interest and moved it like right around here then what would happen is take a look at my camera when our camera got through our animation instead of going through it it would flip back and look at our int uh what's it called point of interest from a different direction and we don't want that we wanted to keep going in the same direction the whole time so that's why I move this point of interest through our animation like that and another thing you want to take note of 
if you well let me show you what this guy's what this does take a look at this box right here uh, let me get my camera selected so you can see what's going on our camera first goes up and then down and then up and gives us a sweet animation so that's one thing that you can do with cameras up oh my god that is animation galore so that's your intro to a camcorder again a point of interest is where you're aiming make sure to go through unless you want it to flip around and your position is where you would be holding the camera and again like I was going to tell you before if you go to transform auto orient auto orient ugh, got a little hiccup there if you orient along the path it pretty much sucks make sure you're always orienting towards point of interest let me show you what happens if you orient along the path pretty much all your hard work look at the camera over here actually I'll give you a dual view if you see that it pretty much no one ever wants that unless you're just making a completely odd um, animation so again what you want to do 99% of the time is go transform auto orient orient towards point of interest and that will give you the effects you're looking for so bam bam that's how you animate camera point of interest where you're in position where you are awesome tutorial as usual thank you very much for watching if you have any questions just send me a message and hopefully I can answer them. if not move on to my next tutorial it will be awesome as well so thank you don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time